Sepsis is an important public health threat. Every 20 seconds, someone in America is hospitalized with sepsis, a life-threatening illness caused by an infection. While mortality rates are still too high, more patients are surviving sepsis each year. Now, more sepsis survivors are discharged from our hospitals than ever before. However, after sepsis, patients often experience new problems that may continue for years. Common problems after sepsis include difficulty with memory or concentration, anxiety and depression, weakness and difficulty completing routine tasks, such as dressing and bathing, recurrent infection, setbacks in the ability to control chronic heart, lung, and kidney diseases may result in additional hospitalizations. As a result of these problems, many patients may have difficulty returning to work, returning to school, and doing their usual hobbies after surviving a hospitalization for sepsis. If you are a sepsis survivor, you are not alone. If you are experiencing forgetfulness, poor concentration, weakness, anxiety, or depression, spouses and family members are often affected too. Many serve as caregivers, helping their loved one with dressing, bathing, organizing medications, and attending doctor visits. This is a stressful time, and many family members report feeling depressed or overwhelmed. Unfortunately, setbacks in the weeks after sepsis are common. One out of every four sepsis survivors will be rehospitalized within 30 days. The most common reason for hospital readmissions is an infection. We at Sepsis Alliance and the Society of Critical Care Medicine's Thrive Initiative are committed to spreading the word about sepsis survivorship and supporting the recovery of sepsis survivors and their families. We recommend the following five strategies to improve recovery after sepsis. One, providers, patients, and families should raise awareness of the long-term consequences of sepsis, including the risk for further medical setbacks resulting in hospital readmission. Two, patients, doctors, and families should carefully plan for hospital discharge. Medications are often started or stopped during sepsis hospitalizations and may need to be further adjusted in the weeks after hospitalization. Everyone should be on the same page and know why each medication was stopped or started to avoid mistakes. Three, it is important that patients follow up with their primary care clinician shortly after their hospitalization and know who to call if an issue arises before the first follow-up visit. Four, after sepsis, many patients have new weakness, difficulty completing routine tasks, and reduced stamina. Patients must work to get stronger. Depending on the severity of the problems, patients may need rehabilitation, physical therapy, or a structured exercise program to follow. All patients will need to work to increase their activity in the weeks after sepsis. Five, further health deterioration is common in the months after a sepsis hospitalization, most often caused by another infection. Patients should seek medical attention for signs and symptoms of infection. Physicians should be aware that risk for recurrent sepsis is very high. Help raise awareness of sepsis survivorship. The lives of millions depend on it.